What is up designers? In the last video, we upgraded our Airtable with Zapier and we had it send us an email every single time someone signed up with our form. You can check that video out over here. In this video, we're gonna create a way to confirm the booking in Airtable and have Zapier tell Google Calendar to make an event and invite our participant. So without further ado, let's build this thing. So I'm basically going to walk you guys through a little bit of the changes that I did uh, in in between the last video and this video. They're nothing too drastic, um, but if you followed along in the first video, you'll be familiar with what I did. Okay, so one thing that we needed uh, for Xavier to create our calendar event is the time, but we also needed the end time. So I went ahead and created a field called duration. And this field is useful in that we can set up um, sort of a time frame. So we could say, okay, I have an hour for this breakfast. I have 30 minutes for this meeting. I have 45 minutes for this meeting. Um, we pulled that in using lookup into the other table and it's unformatted right now. That's why it shows 3,600 if you didn't know there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So that's why it's showing up like that. We've also added like a notes field so that we can put in little information about the meeting and we can use that data in Zapier. And we've added a confirm field, okay? So this is basically a check, a check field. And when you check something, it's going to show up in here. And in this view, we've actually filtered it to only show um, records where confirm is checked, okay? And this is what we're gonna be telling Zapier to look at. All right, so let's jump into Zapier and let's set this all up. Okay, so in Zapier, we're going to make our own Zap. We're gonna make a new Zap. It's very simple. We're gonna have it point at Airtable um, we've done this in the last video, so this should be familiar. We're going to have Zapier wait for a new record in view. Okay. Now we're going to connect our account. Okay. All right. So we're going to have it look at our base. We're going to have it look into schedule and we're going to have it look at confirmed. So anytime a new record shows up in confirmed, do something. Okay, so continue. Okay, let's test this. Okay, so it's waiting for us to, it's waiting for us to put data in. Okay, so we're gonna go back and let's say, let's confirm Jon Snow's meeting. Okay, so we should wait for it to update and we should see the record uh, be pulled in. Okay, there we go. So Jon Snow's been pulled in. So we have his email, we have the start time, everything checks out. All right, now we're gonna set up the other side of this. So Google Calendar. Okay, so we're gonna pick an action. Here I'm going to select create a detailed event because that's what we're gonna be creating. Continue, I'm gonna select my Google Calendar account. Um, so here I'm gonna select the calendar that we want the event to be created in. And this is where we're going to put in all of the data that we need. Okay, so the summary is going to be um, meeting with Jon Snow. And the description is going to be, hi, Jon Snow. Uh, uh, looking forward to our and if you see, I've, I've basically populated the notes with what kind of meeting is it? Is it a brunch, breakfast, a quick meeting? So I'm actually just gonna pull that data in. So I'm gonna say looking forward for, looking forward to our breakfast meeting. And then see you soon. Uh, Mubarak, okay, let me. All right, looking forward to our breakfast meeting. See you soon. Okay, that's it. So we basically put together a very simple description. Um, you can already see how far you can take this if you're more creative with the fields you create um, and the data that you pull into Zapier. All right, 
So we're gonna leave uh, the bulk of this empty. Uh, there are only a couple things we have to do. So the start and the end time. So this is where we're going to select our start time that we pulled in. Uh, we're gonna adjust for our time zone. Um, basically, I think what happens is both Airtable and Google Calendar adjust for my time zone, which is plus eight. So I'm going to subtract eight from this time just so that uh, I offset it back to normal. Um, this is the only way that I've figured out how to make this work. If you've figured it out, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, below and uh, yeah, let us know what you did to make that work. Um, I suspect it has something to do with disabling um, time zones in one of the apps. But yeah, anyways, this is the quickest way I got it to work. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do start time again for the end, right? Start time again, but this time we're going to add our duration and we need to tell Zapier that this is seconds, all right? So the end time is the start time plus the duration uh, in seconds. And we are also going to subtract our um, time zone difference here. So subtract eight hours. Okay, so that's it. Um, we've pretty much set everything up. Um, again, there are a ton of fields here that you can uh, fill up, get creative with it. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And let's hit continue. Okay, all right, let's just make just review and make sure everything is there. Okay, hi John Snow, looking forward, for, looking forward to our breakfast meeting. See you soon. Okay, great, 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 perfect. Let's test it. Okay. So a test detailed event was sent to Google Calendar just now. So let's jump in and there it is. The date is correct. The time is correct. We have our little message there and everything checks out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Uh, we forgot to name it. So let's name this event uh, invitation. Okay, something like that. Uh, say okay we've turned it on now let's go back so Zapier is going to trigger this every 15 minutes okay so just to demo this right now I'm going to go ahead and confirm a bunch of uh, interviews and we should see it uh, populate um, after I manually run the zap so let's confirm 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 and confirm so now we have a bunch of confirmed uh, participants. Now remember you can totally do this through Airtable on your phone. Once you get the email from someone who signed up, you can open up the link in your email uh, with the zap that we created in the last video. You can click the um, you can click the link and then you can go ahead and confirm everyone on your phone and then after Zapier runs your next app again, um, it'll create all of the calendar invites for you. So if we go to Google Calendar here, uh, oh, before that we need to run it. So let's run the event invitation. Okay. All right, so triggered on four new records, close. Okay, there we go, look at that. So everything's been created, okay. So looking forward to our breakfast meeting. Looking forward, looking forward to our brunch and looking forward to our quick meeting. Okay, all the times, you should note that all the times uh, make sense as well. Uh, so everything works. And yeah, that is about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna keep pushing this further because I don't know, automation is just super fascinating to me and I'd love to explore how much further I can take automating workflow. Um, if you're interested in following along for the ride and seeing what I end up creating, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll be coming out with videos on a weekly basis. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Peace.